You'll never guess who isn't a Disney princess that I think should be. You're finally off work. You do a little dance. Grab a drink and maybe your cat. And relax with Redhead Rants. I'm calling it the Minty Princess Punch. You having a good bath up there? So to be a Disney princess, you actually need to have four things and a secret fifth thing. Then you can be crowned and enter in the prestigious Disney princess line, of which there are currently 11. We'll get to them. So the first thing is, you have to be, of course, the lead female in a Disney animated movie. The second thing is, you can't be introduced in a sequel. You can still be in the sequel, but you had to have made your first appearance in the first movie as, of course, a lead, as Point One said. The third thing is, you have to be human. We'll get to that. Four, you either have to be born royal, marry royal, or have an act of heroism making you royal, I guess. And the secret fifth thing is box office money, because, frankly, that's all Disney cares about most of the time, so... You have to make the big bucks. The 11 princesses right now are Cinderella, Fa Mulan, Briar Rose, Sleeping Beauty, Jasmine, Yana, Belle, Pocahontas, Snow White, Ariel, and the newest member is Merida. That's right. The newest member is Merida. Of course there are lots of reasons why other characters haven't been made into Disney princesses, like Alice really didn't have an act of heroism, per se, in standing up to the queen for herself, because she's just a little girl in a crazy world, and it was probably all a dream anyways, right? That's what that movie meant. I have four movies and five characters that I think should be made into Disney princesses. The first one, I know, doesn't really work with the four rules, because... It's Nala from The Lion King. She had a great act of heroism going to get Simba, or going out to find food in general was her original mission, and then ended up finding Simba, convinced him to come back, and saved all of the Pride Lands with him in this giant fight. Does she get recognition? Of course not, because she's not a human. We can dress up as animals. I'm sure you've heard the story about Zootopia opening and the furry outbreak that happened. But really, why can't she be a princess just because she's a cat? She technically is royalty in that family because she marries the king of the jungle? Lions don't live in jungles. Since she breaks a rule, she has to be out. But I think they could make an exception because they did it for Mulan. They added in the or an act of heroism. Just m make it okay to be whatever animal you want to. You could be anything when you grow up. Right? The second person I think should be a Disney princess but isn't, and I'm not really sure why, is Megara from Hercules. My friends call me Meg, or at least they would if I had any friends. Does being with a god in the end not count as being with royalty? Because that's the only loophole I see them getting around. The Hercules did well in the box office. She also gave up her life to Hades, which would be technically an act of heroism. But whatever, Disney, if you want to go ahead and just say that that doesn't count, maybe you're teaching girls not to push people out of Falling Rock's way. The third person I think should be a Disney princess is Kiagakash from Atlantis. Why isn't Kida a Disney princess? She is born royal. She also act of heroism by being that blue diamond-y thing. And is super awesome. Why wouldn't anyone look up to her? She's in charge of this whole civilization in the end, teaches about her culture and ways. She's basically Pocahontas, but a little cooler, if you ask me, because she's probably like, what, a thousand, two thousand years old or something? I know something weird happened with ages there, so 
I might have to rewatch that movie. But Kyogakash really doesn't have any reason to not be a Disney princess. Disney, you need to fix that. And finally, my fourth and fifth person that should be Disney princesses are definitely going to shock you. It's Elsa and Anna from Frozen, probably one of the biggest box office hits in the past ever, and they're still not in the royal Disney princess family. I mean, Elsa is technically a queen, so that might kick her out, but Anna is still a princess. She's born royal, otherwise they wouldn't have that coronation thing in the beginning for Elsa to be queen anyways, right? She's still a princess. She's still royal. So why? Isn't she a Disney princess yet? Yeah, I scoured the internet and couldn't find anything on why. They just haven't gotten around to it? She's so mad she's leaving. I loved Frozen. I could sing it a million times, instantly my new go-to karaoke song. And everybody else loved Frozen, even the people that say that they hate it. What they hate is the popularity. They don't actually hate Frozen. You could never. It's fabulous. Loved it. Anyways. Cheers to you amazing should-be princesses, and maybe one day you'll get your rightful crown. But until then, we're stuck with the 11 we do have, and two of them are redheads now, so. Thank you so much for watching! I hope you enjoyed my little rant about who should be a Disney princess. If you want to let me know down in the comments, who you think should be a Disney princess, or just another underrated animated Disney character that I may have missed. It's doubtful, but go ahead and try and stump me. Also, free to try the drink. I don't know if it's really a thing or not, but it is delicious. Make sure to like this video, comment, share it, that would be cool. Subscribe, grab a drink with me next week.